2023 Subaru BRZ build date October 22. This is essentially a full-time track car. We're going to do the oil pan drop, oil strainer cleaning, and a few other track related mods. Why don't we go check it out? So our favorite Jackson Racing oil cooler. See that guy with the shroud right there. And then the customer also requested an oil pressure gauge install. So we use that port that's normally blocked off right there. And we have an AEM oil pressure gauge inside the cabin. Um, as you can see, pretty stealth install. I don't like when there's obvious wires and nonsense hanging out everywhere. So yeah, tried to do as stealth as an install as I could. Again, stealth install. Pretty cool, the customer 3D printed that gauge pod, but I know you can buy aftermarket pods that replace this or you know go up there to run a oil pressure gauge or whatever gauge you want. See this guy with key on. Awesome, so now that we got that oil cooler and the gauge installed, why don't we check out what that oil strainer looks like. So the customer had this aftermarket Wix oil filter. <laughs> Pretty poor quality in my opinion, um, just based on how little filtration materials in here. Um, this is pretty squat like the OEM filter yet the actual filter material is like even more squat than OEM. Why don't we roll through this guy and take a look at what we find. Uh, just a reminder we did not find much in the oil pickup so why don't we take a look. The police are really cleaning this thing so he must have just done the oil change recently. And yeah, not so accurate because the pleats are clean, so the oil change probably was done not too long ago. But yeah, we have uh, clean pleats on the inside, but again, not a very accurate test this time around. Okay, so visually, not much inside the oil strainer this time around, October 22 manufacture date. You see like those big chunks on the right hand side, and then I see a little bit on the left hand side. Somebody in the comments asked if we could put a boroscope camera inside the oil pickup. Why don't we do that now? Look inside the screen and we're gonna put our camera inside. All right, and then there you can see those big chunks on the right side. Pretty cool with this camera, you can see that's the screen on the left that a, uh, you know the photos never pick up although it is pretty tough to see like the colors are kind of like not the best and I think it's because our uh, light inside the inspection camera is reflecting off all the uh, or the shiny oil parts inside yeah using the camera inside the um, oil strainer is not the best just because I think our, our mini light on the end of the camera reflects off the oily surface although you can see our good friend mr. red speck at the top right there then you can kind of see it in the upper left corner, some more RTV. In this instance, that left side screen, you can kind of see there's like those like dark gray pieces sticking to the side of that left side screen. So I bet you when I get my extraction tool, we'll be able to see those a few minutes later. All right, as you can see, not much pulled out. You guys probably already know a lot of that little stuff concerns me just because there is a possibility of it getting pulled through the strainer and making its way blocking some internal oil passages in the engine, but otherwise not much in the oil strainer. I wonder if Toyota and Subaru watch my videos and are like, we're on the right track, fellas. Yeah, let's wait until we drop the next oil pan until you guys say that.